Hey world, thy head is like the demon lord. Hey world, it is I, Zach the Demon Lord, and yet again, uh, video. Uh, so today, uh, we're automatically where we need to be, and we have an interesting video for you guys today. Um, as some of you may know, may uh, not know, who knows, I am into metal music, and specifically, as uh, some of my videos have been, uh, were the lyric videos for the band Bill Theata. Uh, specifically their album called Most of the uh, And so, we have an interesting video with that today. Uh, we will not be reacting to the album, but rather the album art. And so I am joined here with my brother, and we will go through the album art. Uh, I had seen someone react to the album, the, the music therein. And he was also paying attention to the album art and noticed something I never did. Uh, and that's that the album art kind of tells a story, uh, which is kind of cool. So anyways, uh, that's what we'll be doing. Um, to avoid any potential copyright issues, we are going to turn the volume all the way down and off in case it tries to play on us. Uh, do not want copyrighted. Uh, so that's what we will do. I don't know if Bill Terta is the type of band that uh, you can get copyright thing for, but I'm not going to risk it. Uh, anyways, so we're starting out with the song Lavender Haze uh, with the initial um, album art. Uh, so let's, let's observe what's going on. So, uh, this is kind of a, a double image. So we got we got a snake man, and he's a uh, he's in a boat with uh, whatever this dude is, but he's uh, you know driving the boat or whatever. Uh, we got these various animals, not like a maybe deer or elk. That kind of looks like an elephant. I don't know. What does it look like to you? Or maybe it's a very fat pig. I can't really tell what that is. I can't tell. Uh, we got a paper shirt here, and then an ox, and then like a uh, like a goose, duck thing, a frog. We got our snake man in the back, uh, and then we got this bird guy that's like uh, holding some bowls or something uh, in the middle of this city. And then like the train stuff, but like this image kind of is a double image because uh, we could see also there's a casket here with some some flower bouquet things on it. Uh, but anyways, it creates a giant skull. And then in this corner we had this uh, like clock tower thing with our, our snake man. Anyways, um, so yeah, we can tell that this is a, a start of a story, uh, and I think. It's uh, pretty easy to tell with the three images of the guy. The story is going to be following a snake man. Would you say so? Yeah, because there's three different parts where it shows a snake man. So, yeah. Anyways, uh, what are your initial thoughts with uh, the album art? I think uh, just from what I can see, I think it has to, it kind of shows like life and death in a way because of the skull, and then, you know, if you kind of like look in the background, it looks kind of cloudy, so, yeah. And then he has two bowls in his hands, so maybe they each represent, like, life and death, or, I don't know. Just kind of mysterious. Yeah, mysterious for sure. Uh, anyways, cool, cool. Uh, we'll move on to the next album part here so the next one which is kind of one of the main ones as far as album art goes is the art for the song uh or when the ones you love come back from the dead um one thing you'll also notice with the album art is with the ones that do have lyrics the lyrics will appear on the side of course um, unless you speak Swedish, you won't be able to read it, but 
um, that is a thing. And so I guess we can kind of review what's going on. So on the bottom, we have what's... Who knows if it's the Snake Man or not. But we have this uh, guy that kind of looks like he's coming out of a grave or something. Um, and then we got some dogs that are kind of uh, shadowed by what's presumably the moon. And then some smoke. And then the train stuff. And then we got this dog. Wolverine kind of looking dude. I don't know. With like some feathers coming out uh, between his like paw and then a tree with a uh, grip at the end and uh, like some sort of oil lamp over here with I I'm starting to notice the symbology of uh kind of scales um but yeah any any thoughts for you um on this one like, there's stuff going on, but at the same time, it's very hard to, um, explain what your thoughts are. Like, this one's more, how do I say it, like, more bland picture. Like, there's not a whole bunch of the story, because half of it is just lyrics on the other side of the page, so. But it is sure interesting with the whole scale thing, so. Um, yeah. Yeah, okay. And I guess then, uh, moving on. All right. Let's see how well YouTube wants to lower. Okay, here we go. So this is the cover for Chaos Paul or Chaos Two. Um. So I'll make my observations. So immediately. I mean, I think we can all see that there's an eyeball in the center with a weird, I guess, some pig man. Um, and then we got like the weird dog dudes in like the corners. And then there's like a hole in the ground with, I don't know what that is, coming out of the hole, reaching into the eye and grabbing onto this weird, presumably, pig man. Uh, but yeah, that's what I see. Any thoughts from you? <laughs> it's just another one that's kind of hard to explain what's going on or, uh, you know, giving thoughts. Because it's just kind of strange, you know? It's not something that you would normally see, so... Just describing it will kind of, yeah, explain what your feelings are on it, I guess. Yeah. So. Alrighty then. I guess then. Moving on again. Alrighty. So the next one is for the song Toxin. And so this one's pretty uh, interesting as well. We all have all these like uh, things called like pain glass images all over. And like you can even see some people creep, like creepy looking through them, and then we get to see our snake man. And he's walking down some stairs and he's getting stared at by a weird, I don't know what this is, goblin looking dude. And then there's a frog man with a hat smoking. Uh, and we could tell that the snake is also holding like some some papers or something. Um, don't know that I have any other thoughts. What are your thoughts? Um, well, my main thing I see is if you look closely at the windows, some of them look like they have eyeballs in a way. Yeah. Um, it just looks kind of mysterious and dark and gives a really, uh, creepy, creepy feeling at the same time because there's uh, a lot of shadowing going on, like in the background. Yeah. Um, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Anyways, yeah, definitely an interesting one, uh, but yes, we can go to the next album part, really that one. Alrighty, so the next one is for the song 
Bremerk. Uh, Bremerk uh, means branded or literally brand marked. Um, and so this is the type of branded where, as I mentioned in my video about the lyrics for this song, this is a type of branded where like you've been branded someone has taken a hot iron rod and put a mark on you sort of branded anyways so reviewing the album art though um we have this giant demonic looking i would say angel, angel. yeah like an angel Dude. uh he has his wing arms uh ripped out by these weird dog yeah things and if you see blood pouring out from that we, we get these faint small images of these animal guys in the corner and then we got these two dogs in the center holding the brands and presumably they probably have branded this weird presumably cow guy uh but yeah that's what i can tell so far what, what do you got to say about that? My thoughts are pretty much the same. It looks like some like demonic angel dude with its wings ripped off. Um, um, now with the whole branding part, I don't know what that really stands for. Cause there's some weird demon angel dude with its wings ripped off. Um, uh, I can say a little bit of back with uh i guess the background with the lyrics there's a very big religious aura over the course of the songs and so branding is kind of a religious thing here that kind of makes you a part of i guess you could say the cult or whatever but yeah does that add any uh villains for you towards the artwork yeah. Thoughts. Yeah, it makes sense. Huh. Okay. Yeah. Uh, anyways, I guess uh, we can look at the next one. Alrighty, so the next one, I suppose, this is the artwork for Then Helly and Then Indraten, which means the Holy Spirit underwater, in parentheses. And so this is another interesting one. So, wow, this one's very, very interesting and hard to describe. We have this uh, this plate with some very rotten looking food. It's being held up by these giant hands that are simultaneously buildings or something. Uh, we kind of see some some background stuff of uh, stairs and plant life. Uh, as far as these hands go, though, they reach up into presumably the heavens or something. And we got this uh, trumpet dog angel man thing. Uh, we got our snake man in the background here. And then up here, we have this, like demon sun moon looking thing uh, behind a, a layer of thick black clouds um so it's very ominous i uh, can't tell too much what's going on but yeah anyways thoughts uh, from you um this one has more uh like a more of a better picture to say uh there are these hands of course that uh kind of look kind of witchy and there's like a rotten fruit stuff on the plate like rotten fruit and then you know there's like the dark clouds and then the creepy goat round moon face thing that's like has I like i just know there's uh vines growing out of his ears oh yeah and then i just noticed there's uh some like looks like grapes or something growing on the part of the veins or whatever from the ears anyway yeah and then you have because the other side there's no building but the left side the 
I'll just say the part of the arm or whatever is building that then has the angel dude on top. Um, and then you see the blood dripping like off from the hand because it's like chopped off. Um, which most likely means it's fresh, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's really, I don't know, has a very EPE vibe to it, though. Um, that's pretty much my thoughts. Yeah. Anyways, I guess, yeah, if that's all your thoughts, yeah, it's definitely an interesting one. But we can move on to the next one, then. Um... So next up we have the album art for Passage Noir. Uh, this is one of the very few that has a French title. Passage Noir just means Black Passage or Black Pass. Uh, not in um, any sort of American cultural sense, but literally just a path that is, you know, shadowed in the dark. Anyways, um, not uh, explaining um, potential cultural misunderstandings aside, let's get into the art. So we see these buildings in the background, which don't aren't too too important. But then in the forefront, we got on a sort of stage pedestal thing. This presumably one, two, three, four, five, five headed dog man angel thing who's holding a book that kind of resembles a Bible. Also, this uh, stage is hoisted up on a, a, a golden chain system thing. And then we can see like these weird uh, creatures, some of them pig like, trying to. I guess get their way on the stage and dog man's like nah you ain't coming up and then also in the background kind of see these stairs that lead up to our snake man who's kind of yeah just watching being kind of an outcast or whatever uh any thoughts from you um the first thing i was thinking is so like these heads in the background look like dogs, but this one reminds me of one like the pig dudes. And if you notice throughout the stories, most of the dogs will look kind of like vicious or evil in a way. He looks evil. And nice. then I think that what he's standing on is part of the scale. Yeah. Like I it's think, a scale. Yeah, and right. then if you notice oh, yeah. That's on his book, scale. on his book, there's a, a grape. Well, I think he's holding the grape. Oh, maybe he's holding the grape. Anyway, yeah. I wonder if that has to do part of it. Like, if it's like sent to the, like, evil fruit or... I don't know. And then, yeah, you have these little pig-like creature things trying to climb onto the scale. And then we have a little wine glass thing, I think. Yeah. That's... Uh, on the scale um that's pretty much i see but yeah a lot of detail <laughs> um anyways i guess if that's it though we can move on to the next one which is here so the next one is for most dance not not sorry most dance national song in the button uh which literally means uh so Molstaden is like Pigeon City, so literally if you were to translate it like that, it would be like Pigeon City's national song or anthem, Underwater. And so I guess this would be the other side of the scale, initially, uh, looking at the art, because on this side of the scale we have this lump of just dead uh, creatures and their flesh and you know, the blood gushing out and falling into this hole, this chasm. And then we can see this dog man that's kind of peering out from here. 
And then we can see like this weird building with wings that's kind of floating here. Some weird stars or some shit. Excuse my language up here. Uh, and then we've got our snake man who's observing this all. But yeah. Uh, any uh, thoughts from you? Um, so you can still see the uh, buildings in the background like the last one and then you have the building that's floating that kind of like resembles like an angel or something and then the stars are kind of shaped like crosses in a way um and of course you can tell this is a different scale because the last one uh like on the top the on the half. top yeah on the top the scale you can't really see because there's just more bright but on the top there's a moon but on that part on the top of the flesh that's on the thing there's like a, I can't really see. It. It's like a winged something. So I'm guessing it was that angel guy, yeah, or something, where he's being hung, uh, by like other dog people, um, and then you have the, the wolf guy that's on the right side, um, that's kind of like he has it glowy eyes, like he's uh, I don't know if he's like one of the more big guys or. Um, like a leader or something and then um yeah then you have the snake on the bottom left corner but i think it has to do with something that's kind of more dark in a way like uh, anyway yeah that's those are my thoughts all righty yeah it's definitely a Again, interesting one. Uh, we'll move on to next album art, which is for the loads. This is taking a bit. There we go. So this is the album art for Heart Smear. And so what we can see is there's this uh, aside from this side. Because all there is is this stump with an axe in it and a weird little goblin bird looking thing. Uh, on this side we got this hourglass. And we can see on the top there's this uh, wolf dog man reaching out trying to help his friend uh, get back up. Because he's fallen into the hourglass. And the, they're presumably falling through the sand down into a pit. And so, I think this is a thought I can share with this one. As I said, the lyrics in this are very religious in a sense, but like in a dark manner. So I think this is trying to convey the idea with this cult or whatever, that it's only a matter of time before they get to you. And so we can kind of see that each of these dogs or wolves or whatever they are kind of symbolic to this idea that at some point or another they will get you and they will do something to you whether that's locking you down below or sacrificing you or something they will get to you anyways thoughts for neil um mine are pretty much the same like uh this is kind of like the scales in the way but kind of not the same thing like, uh, not good versus evil, right? But the side, she can't be on the top of the hourglass, because no matter what, you're going to sink to the bottom. But then, on the bottom of the hourglass, it kind of reminds me of, like, hell or... You know, it's like, lost people, if that makes sense. Yeah. Um, and then, if you kind of pay attention, on the top of the hourglass going down their blood dripping yeah um, and then we have like entwined like trees yeah trees and stuff yeah that's there's not much to that's kind of just what my thoughts are but yeah okay yeah this is another interesting one but we'll move on okay Next up, 
So the next one is the album art for Vagabond. And so this one's another interesting one. So we have our Snake Man. Uh, and he's inside the tent with some weird uh, witch doctor looking thing. Then there's some other creatures in there too. Some potions. And they're inside of a tent that's also like a dragon or like snake mouth thing. And then you can kind of see Frogman and stuff appearing on the outside. And some weird arms from whatever this thing is over here in the body or whatever kind of weird and it's kind of looks like it's also holding a chain that's connected to some weird roots or some something uh i don't know how else to describe this picture it's another whack one but yeah um what do you say okay so if you notice on like that side they're more like the the other side there's like the chain but it's like it's supposed to be like a like a like cuffs or something maybe because you can see the cuff right there um and then you can see the smoking guy again and then but then inside, it looks like a potion room, like a witch doctor. It looks like maybe, I would say, body. But anyway, you know, the snake guy with a, like a potion, and then there's a goblin guy, and then snail. And then the tent thing is made with a, a snake slash dragon mouth thing. Um, but yeah. That's pretty much what I see, but, um, yeah, <laughs> that's it. All right, then. Yeah, it's another interesting one. Um, but yeah, we can move on then. So the next one is, there we are. So the next one is the art for Mitruta Hirta, which means my tired heart. Um, and so we have the snake man with his paper and he's kind of engulfed in the jaws and claws or whatever of what I'm going to presume is the dog guys. And yeah, that's about it. What would you say? Um, yeah, I can say the mouth slots. I was trying to get them, so I think it did send that like even this train to get them. Yeah, which would be the hands of the cult. And then there's the eyes, like they're keeping watch of him. Yeah. And watching everything he's making. Like, yeah. They're not, and with the, uh, the uh, hourglass thing, no matter what, they're going to get the same. Yeah. As uh, as much as the snake wants to, you know, act mysterious and try to hide, no matter what, the wolf of the dogs are gonna get him, so. Yeah. Same thoughts here. Anyways, I guess we can move on. I want to be simple, I think. Okay, the next one has a very long title. This is the album art for the song. Which, um, from my memory, means um, oh, let's see. Um, there's like a I'm trying to remember exactly how this uh. Translated, holy smokes! I I recognize some of the words, but it went something along the lines like, uh, "This dream's womb, a uh, something rather to um, the snake's nest." Um, I guess you can yeah translate. Uh, 
Oh yeah, a veil. Yeah, a veil to the uh, serpent's nest. Anyways, yeah, this one has a long title. Um, but yeah, getting into it, we kind of see um, this weird thing in the background holding the lamp thing and a feather. It's behind bars along with a city thing and then there's this caged eye face thing uh, connected to like, I don't know, feather things and it's in a cuff. And then we got this statue with the broken off arms and this guy with the horn and stuff. Um, but yeah, I guess with um, the title of the song and stuff, it's just saying like, I guess in relation to the cult, once you dream of freedom, I guess, or uh, once you have a dream, in this case, the cult will ultimately uh, squander any thoughts of that happening. Uh, any thoughts from you? Yeah, it's pretty much the same thoughts. I think it's just you know, trying to get the good. It's like a lot of times they're just like, like an angel, like there's an angel dog thing that's being hung. Uh, I'm just guessing that this uh, feather thing is an angel and it popped up. Yeah. So I think it's just another one of those ones where it's like, we're no matter what, we're going to get whatever that is good. Yeah. Uh, that's pretty much my yeah it's definitely uh very interesting and yeah agree uh moving on though uh there we are so this next one is the album art for the song phantom assassin and so we got this chasm which presumably was the foundation of the weird angel building we could see floating in the background of that one we can see all these people, ladders or whatever, and like these animal people are falling off from the building because it's literally floating away. Um, and then we can see the background of like this city or whatever. Thoughts from you? This is kind of like bizarre because it's just it's like the buildings from the background um, that were now here. Part of the picture, and then this is the part, of course, with that angel building that's the background. Yeah, but we have like some like a toad and like, like that, but yeah, we yeah. have like animals. I don't know if they're just falling off the building or if they're like jumping from the ladder trying to get on the building. That could also be it. Um, it is, it's also kind of weird because there's blood coming from the main slash to the foundation there's like blood or something yeah um, and then we have the main yeah the river sun or something but yeah but this is that's pretty much my thoughts on this picture so. yeah okay cool cool all right we can move on to the next one and just uh to shout out we're almost there almost done Anyways, moving on, we get the album art for Sunset Sunrise. And so, presumably, we're inside the floating building because you can kind of tell it looks like a forest or something down there. And then we get the, what I'm going to call the Council of Dogs. Um, all these weird dog people, besides this guy, I don't know what this guy is, but he's because he's cuffed up and stuff. But then... We see the snake here in front of what's presumably the judge of the dog council. And they're all looking at him. And yeah, yapping away angrily at him. That's from you? Um, so this one, I think, yeah, it's kind of like the same like the ways. Um, so I think the, the guy that's in front of the snake is like the anger of the wolves. Uh, uh, it could be that the guy that was a uh, wolf guy that was foreshadowing or looking at the uh, 
the other part of the scale with the guts and stuff, the one with its eyes that like, just peer yeah. over. If that's the guy, the same guy, like the leader. And then these are just his uh, council dudes. Um, and then if you look at the very like back, yeah, uh, I think that is like a prisoner. Like a yeah, that's guy. what I'm saying. And he, uh, I think that's the guy that was chained from before because there's a thing on his head. Yeah. And yeah. So I wonder. There's also if, some scratch marks too. So I wonder if the snake is trying to free the angel. Because uh, I think the snake is a good guy. Yeah. He's just a mysterious guy that is trying to save the world from evil. Yeah. Not no matter what. Uh, the world will prevail in this case. And no matter what, the dark, the darkness is gonna like overpower the light. The light. Yeah. So I agree. That's my thoughts. Yeah, I agree. Hill. I guess then, yeah. To move on. Uh, okay, the next one. Classy name. Sunset, sunrise, sunset, sunrise. <laughs> um. So in this one, this is another interesting one. Um, so we got this rotten apple with maggots literally falling out of it, and it was presumably this dog people. Um, and then we can kind of see like the the cape and the body of our snake guy. He's also eating a weird moth. And I think what this can kind of be representative of is just the, um, I'm trying to think of a good way to explain it, but assuming these are the dog people, uh, that are the head of this weird cult thing, I guess it can show just the, um, what is the word I'm looking for? Like, uh, just how much these dog people can take and just how greedy they are there's a word i can say um because it looks like they they're like literally just you know taken and taken to the point where it's nothing you know what i'm trying to say anyways if you were to explain uh your thoughts so uh, what would you do that i think this is like kind of the same thing like they're gonna take everything even the food because uh, if you see where the wolves are standing, the bottom of the thing kind of looks like teeth, like if, yeah. if it's a mouth. Now the top, I don't see any teeth or anything. That's just the rib cage and stuff. But down here, it's like teeth, like, especially right here. Um, and then you have our snake that's kind of on the top. That's uh -huh. eating like a demon mom thing. Yeah. So I don't know if it's trying to say that he's trying to like eat the evil, like meeting us get rid of evil. And then yeah. because of the maggots and stuff, there's a I'd say so. There's a course of us. Yeah. But I think it's also saying that evil is gonna get inside of the snake and as the snake can die or you know so yeah, there's gonna be a bad bad uh, event. Anyways, moving on, then we have the album art for... Oh, I just literally clicked uh, in a bad spot. There it goes. This, I think, is the next to last album art. This is for the song Penny Royal Poison. So, analyzing this very strange picture. Uh, we have an eyeball that's kind of connected to kind of what looks like a giant version of the dog with a uh, mallet or whatever in his hand. And he's, you know, casted his vote or whatever. You can see the blood. And then whatever this creature is, I kind of maybe. It's the angel bear. It could be the angel guy, but the angel guy because he has that head thing. So I guess that's things. true. So, yeah, it's the angel guy, but it's kind of weird though. It looks intertwined with the snake body and stuff, but the snake body also looks to be parts of plant. So it's kind of strange, but yeah, 
Presumably it's the angel guy. I guess we can see it for now. You know, it's also kind of strange though. Because it does look like a weird like snake head. It's because the snake is entwined. Maybe that's what it is. But yeah, it's very strange indeed. Uh, anyways, your pure thoughts? Okay. Yeah. This one's kind of weird because the background kind of it was not off. actually I think that's supposed to be just a train hanging. Yeah. And then the snake is entwined with the angel guy. So I'm wondering if it's trying to say like that the snake's trying to protect the angel. I guess, yeah. And then like there's the fleshy dog like the thing that's like like is the uh, angel and the snake dude are kind of inside the snake head. So I wonder if with the mallet and stuff, like it's trying to say like, you know, they voted to take guys' of souls or, you know, take her guys' of life. Sense. Yeah. Um, that's pretty much my thoughts on this picture. Okay. Okay, well, I'm going to warn you, we're getting into the last one and I've seen it and it's not my favorite, we'll say, because it's a sad, sad ending. We know who knew what was going to happen, but we will move on to the last and final picture for Paradiso, uh, which means paradise. And so this is one I am not a huge fan of just because it's kind of eerie, but essentially describing it, we have this weird Garden of Eden sort of esque meets Noah's Ark scene. Um, so I'm going to state the obvious. There's trees on each side and we can see that our snake has indeed been killed and his guts are hanging out literally. Um, and then we get all these animals, pig, monkey, turtle, other pig, duck, goose guy, uh, dolphin. Is that a rabbit? I don't know. Penguin, deer, fish, monkey, weird sheep, lion, scorpion, orangutan, double-headed <laughs> tiger thing, walrus, elephant. We get all these weird animals. Crocodile and tree. How'd you get up there, bud? Uh, anyways, we got all these animals that kind of look like they're in peace. And yeah, and Snake Man just gets ripped. He gets... He gets murked. Um, but yeah. I guess uh, thoughts from you? Um, it's like during the story, they're not showing, of course, the trees and the fruit. And this is kind of the same thing. Like, but when the tree says the home, it's all. Um, that's just the genre music. And then, yeah. Have like the weird pig thing eating the rest of the guts or whatever. I think he's eating that. Um, yeah. Dang uh, gluttonous pig. But of course they got the whole uh, the snake and it's guts are both snaked out. And then you have like these weird little I can't really see the little are, but they're playing with the snake's cake. And then there's that weird rabbit thing that's one of the like eating thing. And then it's, this part's kind of weird because there's like the liver of the dolphin kind of floating. So it, I wonder if this is kind of like heaven because yeah. the snake is dead. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's like a weird. And if you notice, like, at or hands meets. Like, it was the wolves going against every other animal. Yeah. Like, even kind of with the pig, to mostly the dogs that were kind of people looking. So uh -huh. I wonder if these are all the animals that died from the wolves, per se. Like, maybe it's kind of weird and symbol symbolistic symbolic whatever the word is but yeah but this picture is surely uh, evil uh, not really evil, say, but kind of, you know, a little bit sad and uh, it's not a good ending I'll just say. yeah it's not a fun ending so, snake man ripped to him
So that's that's my thoughts on this. But okay. Well, and then, then if you see actually on the floor, there's a scale that's that fell over. So I wonder if it's saying that. that no, yeah. There's no reason to have the scale because now evil is gone. Evil is yeah. Yeah, I think it's very symbolic. It just shows that yes, indeed. Uh, no matter what, the cult was bound to get a hold. In this case, of the Snake Man, ripped to our snake. Um, I think it also just shows that. Um, maybe the snake, maybe he was a sacrifice for peace to be possible. Who knows? Uh, or it could just be showing that, um, I said that this is what a heaven without the dogs is like, but who knows? Um, it's a definitely a very interesting piece. Uh, it's been interesting going over all the album work, I guess, with you and showing you it. And I thought it's all very artistic and very nice, but at the same time, the story is, is a... It's a good story, but not a good story, if you know what I mean. Um, uh, it's definitely grotesque. Uh, not for the light of heart. Uh, sad reality. Um, but yeah, it's been interesting going over the artwork of uh, Vilkerta's Wolstan and the Button and all the album work for each of the songs. Uh, but yeah. Um, Anyways, uh, to the viewers, hopefully you enjoyed uh, coming along and seeing this. Okay, after the awkward uh, jump skip, uh, sorry, uh, we had our mom interrupt, and so I lost my place. So we'll start from square one. If you enjoyed watching this with us. And if you enjoy watching this sort of content, um, please give it a like, please subscribe, share with friends and family that might be interested in this content. Yeah, uh, we'll see you guys in the next one. And until then, hey, Dole. Bye.